Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? My name is Lazius K and I talk about the practical uses of VR. Woo! That's right. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how to use your controller. I'm going to show you the tutorial that Oculus Go provide you when you first turn on your headset, or at least you know what goes on after you power, you turn that power on button. All right, without further ado, let's go. All right, so you're thinking about getting an Oculus Go. You know what, congratulations, you're halfway there. I definitely feel it is the headset to get for 2018 and 2019, possibly 2020, can you believe it? That's how powerful that headset is. The Quest is great, fantastic. However, it's not mm, that useful yet for the practical uses of VR, unless, unless you are a brand that is looking to develop uh, uh, an app for VR, then okay, do it for the Quest, but the Oculus Go is fantastic, very powerful, and so many apps, the Quest is going to run uh, behind for the moment because there aren't that many apps about the practical uses of VR. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. So John Carmack, the Oculus VR CTO, posted on Twitter the other day that Oculus Go emulation is coming to the Quest later this year. Here's a direct quote from his tweet. Go emulation is coming to the Quest later this year by way of compatibility layer that makes Quest report as a Go and emulate the Go controller for old apps. We will be working with developers to test against the emulator, but I hope some will be inspired enough to convert older apps to proper hybrid Go Quest apps with explicit support. So what happens after you power on your Oculus for the very first time? They're gonna take you through a little short tutorial as to how to use your remote and I just want to give you my take on it because it is a great piece of hardware uh, that is really useful for the Go, more so than the touch controllers for the Quest because the Quest has two, so it can be a little annoying to have two. For the Go, you just have one, you can use it when you travel, it's just so easy and convenient. All right, without further ado, here's the video. All right, so I showed you the video where they teach you how to use this guy, which is the remote for the Oculus Go. It's very ergonomic, very light, very easy to use to press the buttons. Um, honestly, I've had this for about six to seven months now. And yeah, it's really good. Even swiping, clicking, everything triggered. It all works well and the battery lasts an eternity. Really, really lasts a long time. All right, leave a comment below. Let me know if this app uh, if this video helped you at all, or if you have any ideas and suggestions for stuff that I can go out and shoot for you and bring to you exclusively. And uh, yeah, let me know if you managed to hack your Oculus Go. Maybe you have an Oculus Go and you're using your phone instead of the remote or you're using a phone as well as a remote. Leave a comment below. All right, until next time, thank you again for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, my name is Lazius K and I talk about the practical uses of VR. So take it easy, DJ, take it away.